Snakes are highly feared animals, mainly due to the media, which is exactly why I make these videos, because I'm trying to create my own kind of media that can help change your mind about snakes. So I'm back at the stream today, mainly due to a few factors. Number one, it's a nice running stream and water attracts life. And there's a lot of frogs here too, so hopefully we can find the predator that preys on these frogs. And if you know me, I mean snakes. So let's get out here, see what we can find. Today I'm on the lookout for a more lesser known snake, the night adder, also referred to as the demon adder due to their bad temperament. But hopefully in today's video, I can show you that they're actually quite a magnificent species. But finding snakes is no easy task as I have to trek through the wilderness, flipping rocks, logs and any form of debris in hopes to find a snake underneath it. And if that doesn't work, then hopefully I can spot one on the move. Perfect. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Hold on. Now, there's a specific way. Come on, big guy. No. Oh, no. There you go. I got him. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. There's a specific way you hold him behind the back legs, yeah? Where they can't jump and hurt themselves. <laughs> Take a look at that. This is exactly why I'm here. These frogs. These frogs attract a very certain species of snake. Multiple snakes, herald snakes, brown water snakes, night adders, any cool snake that I pretty much want to show to you guys. And this is quite a juvenile, that's why I still got the stripe here. Quite a cool little guy. <laughs> he gave me a run for the money. Whew! That's quite funny. Alright, big guy. You can go now. I'm sorry. Guys, just take a look at how beautiful all these rocks here. It's absolutely stunning. And it's actually perfect for what I want to do. Because I'm out here looking for snakes if you take pay attention down here you can see how these rocks get quite low and hopefully if we're lucky we might find a snake resting or even moving underside there and the reason for that is number one it's sheltered from any predatory birds and they may even be looking for potential prey so i'm going to be the ground hawk keep my eyes open and see if we can find anybody and this rock ledge was absolutely perfect because it wasn't long until I found my target species of the day. You can see these ferns and everything provide a perfect shelter. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Check who's sitting right over there. Now that's a snake on a catch. Oh, this is awesome, guys. Looks like she just came out now recently. I'm gonna be gentle. That's not to startle her. Come on. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Looks like a girl. So this right here, guys, is a night header. I'm going to bring it down in a second. Let's just do it. I've got to be very careful. These snakes are venomous. And it's a hissing already. Do you hear that? Oh my god, look at this. That is absolutely insane. The rhombic night header, also known as a common night header. And they also have a more unfortunate name. The demon adder. That is absolutely crazy. All right, let me just sit in a better spot and we can get some cool footage of this guy and I'll talk about it a bit more for you guys. But that is so cool. All right, let's go. Right, so I just brought it down here because it's quite a beautiful little scene here. You can see her by the water and the rocks. Don't worry, these guys are very capable of being in the water. Night at his favorite food is actually frogs. They love frogs, they eat frogs like crazy. And they almost specialize solely on frogs. However, they do eat other meals like mice and rats and all sorts of other animals whatever generally can fit but what's really unique about these snakes is they are vipers but they're not like a true adder mainly due to the fact that they don't have keel scales like a puff adder and they give they lay sorry they lay eggs instead of giving live birth and you can see this one's got a bit of an injury behind her neck there it's quite sad i wonder what happened to her unfortunately when people see snakes they just try and kill them instantly and it's so sad now, these guys aren't as venomous as, uh, as puff adders and stuff, but they do have a cytotoxic venom. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it's a cell-destroying venom. 
And luckily with these guys, their venom isn't potent enough to cause necrosis, where the skin pretty much rots away, which really sucks. It's not a nice bite to get when you get bitten by a puffin and stuff and you have that happen. But the night hitter, the venom, it won't, won't kill you, but it can potentially send you to hospital, especially if you get an allergic reaction or anything like that, and you'll get a lot of swelling. It's not a very fun bite at all, but it's a bite you will survive. So there's really no need to kill these guys. They're beautiful animals. And they, they eat frogs, guys. I mean, what are they going to do to you? The only time they'll ever bite you is if you're playing with them like I am now. Or if you try and kill them. Then they will try to defend their life as best as they can. And you've got to respect them. And what's really amazing is that night adders have the longest venom glands proportionately to their body out of any of the South African snakes. Which is absolutely crazy if you think about it. Like all the way down from the back of the head up the neck there, there's a venom gland on each side. A really sizable one at that too. The shape, she's been so calm. I think let's go put her back here. I'm literally just going to put her right here. And then she can go off on her own way. She's such a beautiful snake, hey? Look at that. She's really dark as well. And she was so peaceful. I love her when snakes are peaceful like that. It's so incredible. I think let's just get some B-roll of her going off back into the wilderness. And then we'll move on. How amazing. <laughs> All right, that was absolutely awesome. I love night headers. They're such an amazing snake. And I mean, the stream is just so magical. I mean, last time I came out here in the last video, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I managed to find three puff headers, a female and two males. So this place is pretty damn magical, I must say, but it's quite unique. And night header, I mean, it's typical habitat for them. There's water, there's frogs, there's night adders. So really cool, but she was really calm. So she didn't really live up to the name of the demon adder, as many people, or as some people know. Their name by, it just depends on which region of South Africa you're in. But she didn't quite live up to that name. Normally night adders, they, they whip, they hiss, they puff, they bite, they strike. You just check that mouth open and back and open and back the whole time. And you're jumping back and evading and it's actually really cute. They're kind of like throwing a bit of a temper tantrum, but that's Essentially how they got their name, the demon adder, because they're pretty wild, I must say. But it's still heating up, so she was probably probably still cold, you know, they're ectothermic, so they use the environment to heat themselves up. So I mean that's probably why she was cold. But let's see, I want to head up onto the top side of the valley. Let's see if we can find any more snakes. Alright guys, we have an unsuspected guest. In today's video, where, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> This is quite cool, a little freshwater crab. Come on, big guy, let's look, face the camera so they can see what your face looks like. Look at that. Now, in case you guys don't know, these guys actually have specialized sacs where they can hold water and then they can breathe like that. And then they can travel on land. Quite a nifty little trick. He's quite small, these guys get way bigger, but what a random find. Hey, that's quite cool. Whoa, careful, big guy, careful. Go that way, go that way. There you go, go. The river's this way, that's it, that's it. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> Guys, Lucas crossing the road. He spot us already. Check that instant, like, horseshoe-shaped defense here. Another little night header. Look how beautiful this one is, hey? The juvenile markings on these guys are it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. I don't know Almost looks like he's playing dead. <laughs> That's, oh, okay. Yeah, this one's ready to bite at any moment. You can see this perfect defensive pose here. Let's see if we can get this grass away. You don't want to get your fingers too close unless you want a fat hand for the rest of the week. So let's get, check he's holding on to here. Clearly makes him feel safe. You're not a tree climbing species. Why do you have a prehensile tail all of a sudden, hey? Hey, little guy. Let's get this off here. Come on. That's it. Let's see if we can get him up off the ground here for you guys. That's it. That's it. That's it, little guy. Now I'm being a little bit more careful because when they're small like this, they whip around really easily. And like I said, these guys are also known as the demon adder due to their attitude. You see that tongue's flicking. He's not too happy with us. It's short flicks mixed with long flicks. He's trying to process what's happening right now. And I mean, when he saw us coming up, we actually saw him because as we saw him going across, he kind of whipped back into his defensive pose. That's how we saw him. I mean, check that. And he's quite wary, but he's not being too bad. As if I put my hand here, 
I mean my foot, sorry, it's a funny hand. You can see that, that attitude coming up. I'm not hurting him, I'm just putting on a display. You see that, that puffing, that striking, that posture. That's how they get their name. Quite crazy. But you got to go on, little guy. You were trying to go the other way. <laughs> There's that little defensive pose. If I could just be nice and gentle, you should be able to go off. Okay, look at that beautiful white there on the scales. He's such a beautiful little snake. Look at that. Gorgeous. There you go, big guy. Be careful of the birds out here. <laughs> How about that? First a crab, another night at a. I mean, I'm not complaining. All right, this looks like a really nice log set up here. You see, that's nice and perfect. Oh, oh, oh nice. This place is puff at a heaven, honestly. This is my fourth puff at a year. That is so cool. This one's a lot smaller, as you can tell. Nice and fat. Let me put that there. You come here, little one. Nice and cold still. It hasn't heated up this side. Now, puffeters are <laughs> a really successful species because they can live almost anywhere. They can live in forests, in Karoo areas, everywhere except for like true deserts. So that's quite cool. Oh wow, this one's really cute. Also a female, you could tell that short stubby tail there. Like they're very small, males have a very long one. She's quite girthy too. She's a little fatty. We like ourselves a little chunker like this one, that's very cute. Now, if you guys want to know more about puffeters, I'd suggest you watch the video I posted before this because I went to do quite a decent amount of detail on these guys. <laughs> and this one looks a bit cold, so I don't want to spend too much time with this little one. She's beautiful though. Hi. Classic, no, no puffing or anything yet. It's still too cold. <laughs> Normally when it's warm and these guys are warm, oh gosh, that's a different story. These guys will puff and hiss and strike and go crazy, just like the night adders. Quite amazing. But you can see now, puffeters belong to the genus of Betus, which is the African adders, or the thick-bodied adders. And the night adder, even though it's an adder, they belong to their own genus called Corsus. And the reason for that is, as I said earlier, night adders have smooth scales, puffeters have rough killed scales. You can see these scale, scales are very rough, defined, almost like a dragon scales. And also puffeters have live birth. They have a lot of live birth. They give a lot of babies. You can see the beautiful little belly. Oh, shame. God. I'm going to put you right back here. There you go. You be safe. You seem to like this little spot here. <laughs> there you go, girl. Come on, and the tail. And the tail. There you go. <laughs> That's not too bad, eh? Two night adders, a crab, and a puffeter. I can't complain. I think uh, it's going to start heating up now, so it's going to be a lot harder to find all the other snakes and stuff. So I think today we'll call it a video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.